In this video, we will be doing an overview of the console. If you're a trial user, you will have the Ultimate Edition. If you have the Strategy Professional or Ultimate Edition, this will be your default console layout. If you have the Trade Edition or less, please refer to our Console Overview Trade Edition video. Now, depending on which edition you have, you may not have some of these pages available to you. When you first load up the workspace, you will have the primary chart area here where you can lay studies. Studies can be placed as an overlay right onto price or as a separate plotted window underneath the chart as we have in this case here. To the bottom right of the chart, we have some navigation functionality starting with the bird's eye view. You can click and drag to a specific point in time in the chart. And when you're done, you can always come back to present time by clicking on the white arrow. We also have the time span, which allows you to select a specific amount of time to show on the chart, as well as the go-to date, which allows you to go to a specific date in the chart. We have a different time frames available here, which can be customized. Any changes to the time frame will then be reflected in the upper corner of the chart. You can always change the symbol or the chart by clicking from the available instruments from the drop-down list. We also have the plus sign which allows you to bring up other panels. This would also be uh, handy if you have uh, an addition where you don't have pages here. You can bring up the equivalent as a panel by clicking the plus sign. And the plus sign is usually available to the right of a current tab as found here, or in this case down here, over here. To the right of the chart, we have the trade panel where trades can be initiated. This would be found in the trade edition and up. And below that, we have some pre-configured watch lists and an alert panel, and every panel will have associated icons related to functionality. To the far right, we also have a watch list configured as buy and sell boxes to allow for the initiation of trades. Below that, we have pages. Motive Wave comes with some pre-configured pages. We have home for a single layout. We have charts for a multiple layout. We have an account, which summarizes your account information along with any orders or trades that you may have open. We have a scan page, which will, you can initiate scans here for specific conditions, as well as an optimized page for backtesting. At the bottom, we have the blue status bar, which shows your connection status. If it's white, you're connected. If it's amber, you're disconnected. You can always try reconnecting by double clicking. We also have unlinking and linking functions, as well as assigning colored links to our charts. And to the far right, we have our local time and date. Above the chart, we have the toolbar, which is customizable in Motive Wave. That being a separate video. We have the symbol box, which allows you to select any symbol from your local database to bring up a chart. We also have the search icon, which allows you to search for additional symbols. We have some icons here pertaining to saving drawings. You can also take snapshots of your charts. Here we have some alert panel functionality as well as tools, some zooming functionality here, different type of charts. We have uh, lock studies, auto scale, linking charts. We have the ability to change time frame from here. We also have some formatting options here if you have some text-based drawings. To the far right, we have the ability to turn on and off the visibility for some of the properties in the chart, uh, such as lock studies. We can show orders, show trades, show open trades. We can show the components panel. We can click on replay mode, which enables it at the bottom. We can show a DOM. We can show time and sales. And of course, this is a trade panel. We can always go back and just turn these off, turn that off, turn that off, 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 and off. And this, of course, brings up the configure preferences, which we'll go over in a separate video as well. At the top of the platform, we have the Motive Wave menu. Now, there will be a separate se series of videos covering the functionality of the menu, as there's much to cover there. So I, this will be just a brief walkthrough of the separate menu items. Under File, we have the ability to create new windows or panels or open existing windows and panels. We have the ability to initiate some chart related functions such as creating and managing analysis as well as importing and exporting data. The edit menu refers to drawings on your chart. It allows you to select 
certain elements of your drawings and you can either cut, copy, paste, or delete them. The view menu allows you to turn on and off certain functionality of the, of the program as well as certain panels. For instance, you can display uh, components panel, turn that off, trade panel, or turn that off. Uh, as far as functionality, you can also turn off, for instance, the lock scroll or lock studies. Study for complete studies, you would click on the add study, which shows you the complete list. You can narrow down the list by typing in here. For instance, if you just wanted volume, you can just type in volume. Now for convenience, we do have some pre-configured groups here, but this is not an exhaustive list of all the available studies. The same will apply, apply for strategy. You can either have a complete list here or you can access them via the pre-configured groups. Format is re related to any text-based tools or components. Configure, this will allow you to configure different aspects of the platform. Configure preferences, which is the most involved here. This will be a separate video, but just to give an idea, it covers everything from themes to chart options, as well as uh, orders. Okay, and then we have the window menu, which allows you to manage your windows as far as tiling or cascading. And then the help menu, we have a list of resources here. The log files would be uh, used if technical support asks you for log files. You can click on that link and then send us the log files. And of course, you have the about menu, which will bring up the about dialog box, which will show information regarding your license as far as what your key is, who it's licensed to, the type of edition that you have, and the version. Okay, so that covers the menu and concludes this video.